Mr. President. Yeah? He's in the Senate dining room, and he's coming right up. He wanted to talk to you from another telephone. All right. Senator Humphrey. Uh, I got your note here. Uh, nobody's in the room when I talk to you, and I read that story, and I thought it was just a friend, my friend talking too much up there. I thought you just, uh, uh, that was your way of expressing it, because I didn't feel like I was giving you uncertain tale. I was just I trying to clear either. it out. I didn't either. And you just, uh, you just uh, talk when you ought to have been listening. That's a problem that all of us got uh, with dogs and everything else. Well, <laughs> um, yes. I read the story, and it looked like it came right from you, and you just said, oh, God Almighty, I just caught hell. No, I'll tell you what, the only uh, person... There's nobody here that uh, I've got a diary, and it shows that Senator Kennedy came in three minutes after I talked to you, but he wasn't in the room, and no one was in the room with me. And I wasn't giving any unsured hell anyway. I was just clarifying it. I didn't want to be awfully careful that they'd like to lay. I think you could get by with uh, repealing the goddamn bill. But I think if I change one comma, Gloria Richardson's already gone out here at some of the Justice Department's indication and said she has no confidence in me. And that's what they're doing, and I don't want, I want to be awfully careful, and that's all I, I was saying. I understand that. Look, I'm not being critical of you at all. I know it, but I don't want to hurt you. I want to help you. Uh, I'm trying to build you up. I'm trying to make you the greatest man in the world. And uh, I'd be the last man in the world to say I ever correct you about anything. I might say you corrected me. Well, I But uh, that. Nobody, nobody in this office did it, and it didn't come from here. And uh, you better just check and see who is in your own office, or if you told somebody that you just caught the, the devil, or you were sweating because Johnson kept you late. Or well, I saw a story, and it's one of them said that you held up your ears like you like a beagle had been a hold of you, and, I did not and uh, well, you said that they had a debate in the press corps whether you were cupping your ears trying to hear them or holding them up like a beagle dog. Exactly, of course. That's and of course they, they got it wrong on the beagle dog. All I'm doing is holding the beagle up, or so he could get the front of his picture instead of his. I know. They got his ass for 10 days here, and I want to show him a good, well-formed head. And besides, when the hound dog barks, I don't want to get in the paper on this, but that's, that's his pleasure. That's not his hurting. <laughs> well, let me just say, the only person that I mentioned that you and I had talked at all to was Roy well, that's, Wilkins. That's enough. Roy uh, Wilkins. And I, nobody... did this, I did this because I wanted him to know yeah. that, uh, that well, anything that's... that might have been in the paper in reference well, to you was uh, only well, he's probably it. trying to correct it with to help both of us, but it hurts you in Minnesota. I don't want to do it. I want to do anything I can to help well, you. Now, they want that. McCarthy coming in here to take a bunch of pictures for his book. I told him, send him on in. We'll do that, and I'm not worried, but I don't want you to ever think that I'm not, uh, I don't want to help you. Well, I know you wouldn't. I, know. I wasn't. I just thought that some. No. I was told by uh, one of Senator the Kennedy, I talked to you at, uh, at uh, 12 11 and. Uh, he came in at 12.14. That's what our diary shows, and they, they have me tapped. They have everything I do. I got. I can't <laughs> even hold up a dog without getting in the paper. But <laughs> go on. Are you doing? Are you going to do any making any progress? Well, we're going to start meeting on Tuesday with uh, Mr. Dirksen and uh, see what he has in mind. We had uh, quite a little session around here today going through all the possibilities, the pitfalls of the arrangements between the House and the Senate in case this bill is amended over here. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll do the best we can in these meetings. I've tried to make it crystal clear around here that we've got our job to do, what your position is. We know what it is. We'll just go ahead and do the best we can. God bless you, my friend. Yes, sir. Bye. Bye.